We're back with some more Tuesday Tech Tips, and speaking of technology, Cecina has a new member in its technology department. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Hello Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Caitlin Dunn, bringing you the news virtually from home. We're back in action today. This semester, we'll air shows Tuesday through Friday. The Monday Crusader prep days are more hectic with all classes meeting for shorter times, so we won't produce a show on those days. The Creative Writing Club will hold its first meeting of the new year tomorrow at 3.15 p.m. Contact Ms. Wetzel for a link to the team's meeting. The first book club meeting of the new year will be held on January 20th, also at 3.15. Stay tuned for more info on a location inside the building for that meeting. A link for a Teams meeting will still be provided for those who aren't physically in the building on that Wednesday. Contact Ms. Wetzel with any questions. Now let's head over to Gabe for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Caitlin. Last night, the girls' basketball team beat Christmas Addicts in the second round of the city tournament. Congrats, Crusaders. Tonight, the JV girls' basketball team will play at Heritage Christian at 6 p.m. The varsity team will play in the next round of the city tournament, also at Heritage Christian at 7.30. The wrestling team will compete in a meet at Grin at 6 p.m. Good luck, Crusaders. That's it for sports. Now back to Caitlin for more news. Thanks, Gabe. Students, earlier this year we talked about how it's important for you to check Canvas for any submission comments made by your teachers. But did you know you can adjust many different notification settings in your global Canvas account? Greg shows us how in this week's Tuesday Tech Tips. Thanks, Greg. So there you go, Crusaders. If you haven't done this already, go check it out. And with some clicks of some buttons, you can be in the know with your assignments and grades. Mason Smith has joined Cecina's technology department. OC Apiokai has more on our new technology analyst. There's a new face in Cecina's tech department that many students have yet to have seen. Mason Smith, a junior at IUPUI, comes from a company named Wildlinks. Here, he explains more about how he found Cecina. So I found Cecina through uh, my current company that has a contract with Cecina. Um, so I'm helping out Cecina through my current job. So far, Mason has nothing but kind words about working with Crusader students and staff. Uh, so far, it's been great. I love everyone here. It's great to work for. Everyone's super nice. Um, I really like being able to help students, staff, faculty. Um, it's been great so far. Assisting people in their day-to-day -day activities is what Mason particularly enjoys about technology. Um, so what I like about technology is the ability to help people um, to make their lives simpler, easier, um, I like coming up with solutions that help business and help people do what they do best. 
Mason is currently studying computer information technology in order to pursue his future career in the computer science field. My future career, I hope to be uh, maybe a business systems analyst or a project manager, um, something in between business and IT. I'm not quite sure where I want to fall yet, but I'm figuring out as I go. As second semester is upon us, keep in mind that if Mrs. Juarez, Mr. Elridge, or the tech squad isn't available to help, Mason is here, so please don't yelp. Thanks, OC, and welcome to Cecina, Mr. Smith. That's it for today's news. Stay safe, stay connected, and give that little extra.